Well, a Purdue grad has developed an innovation that keeps opened, unfinished bottles of wine fresh for weeks. Sound too good to be true? Well, let's find out in The Innovators with Dr. K. Dr. K, take it away. Well, thank you, Gary. As you mentioned, this Purdue engineer has given us something really fabulous, an innovation in the wine industry. And I think it is really good, and it is true. So I'm pleased to welcome uh, Ryan Fredrickson, the founder of Art Wine Preserver. Ryan, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me on today. Well, it's great to have you. As I always do, I like to ask this question at the beginning. Where did you come up with this idea? So it kind of was, uh, as many innovations are, uh, a needs-based. I graduated college and started to enjoy wine, enjoying um, the way that you can explore the world through mm -hmm. wine and, mm -hmm. and all the different varietals. But uh, one of the things I found was that it, you end up staring at a bottle with five glasses of wine in it. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's a Tuesday, you have to make it into work the next day. Um, <laughs> so uh, you know, with wine spoiling as quickly as three days, uh, I kind of needed something that let me not have to commit to the whole thing in one go. So what's the innovation behind this that actually helps with this? Yeah, Problem. so it's um, the the name is actually AR capital T. It stands for Argon Technology. Right. So uh, I was actually an engineer in the Argon industry doing um, antioxidation applications. Right. So the thing that makes wine spoil is oxygen. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we actually use a gas called argon. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of like a filler gas. Right. To displace that oxygen and create a protective layer above the wine. So you spray art into the bottle right. one to two seconds, and it will actually create a, a protective layer above the wine, sealing in the flavors and the aromas. Fantastic. So what's the potential market for something like this, right? Yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's pretty big. Uh, we, we estimate one to two billion dollars of wine that are dumped every year. Wow. Um, part of the motivation for actually doing this was seeing all the hard work on the West Coast that they're doing to make this wine. Right. And then um, realizing that there's a lot of it that ends up down the drain at restaurants, um, people who were like myself living alone and, and and needing help with uh, with saving the leftovers. Sure, so, sure. What are some potential uh, capital funding sources you might be looking at? So, <clears throat> so right now we are um, friends and family founder funded, right. um, bootstrapped if you will. Sure. And, uh, but to, to really go to our next step to, to serve our customers better, mm -hmm. um, we are looking and raising uh, a seed round with Angel and uh, mm -hmm. Angel Syndicate groups. Excellent, excellent. Where do you see the growth potential? Um, so, like I said, there's about one to two billion dollars of wine that's dumped right. down the drain every year. Right. So, we're hoping that um, in kind of doing a top down where we're going to wine professionals okay. um, that, that are opening up many bottles of wine, they're trying to sell the wine and represent the brands. Right. We're hoping that if we, we go straight to them first and say, hey, here's a tool for you to use, mm -hmm. it's going to save you money and give you something that will add value to your customers, mm -hmm. that we can go from, from that perspective and eventually work our way direct to consumers that are going to be able to find this useful in the same way that I did when I, when I developed right. it. Because I was going to say, eventually, this can go right to consumers, can it yeah. not? Oh, I mean, it can right now, so. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. So describe your next steps in the year ahead. So in the year ahead, we, um, you know, we're trying to expand our distribution network and the people, the, the wine professionals we're helping. Right. Um, outside of just the Midwest, we have a good crew here, but trying to make it to the coast, the east and west coast. Um, you know, really pushing the, the next generation of the product, which, sure. we, uh, which will involve uh, taking our patent pending and trying to develop to the point where we can actually get a full patent on the next, the next generation of this. Great. Um, That's great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, as I do on each show, I try to give some prescriptions to help you out. So I have the, what I call the ABCs uh, of venture growth challenges for you. Mm -hmm. And the A stands for acquire capital for the next steps, which we just talked about. Yeah. You're looking for those angel round, the smart money, smart investors that can help you. Uh, the B is for build a distribution sales network, and it sounds like you're doing that as you're going to the wine professionals and the distributors, but eventually to the consumer, which could be very powerful. Mm -hmm. And that's where I led me to C, create awareness of wine preservation. I think more of us as consumers that are aware of this kind of a product are going to demand having this in our homes so we can enjoy the wine much like you. So those are my ABCs, and I, I hope they help you as you go forward, Ryan. Yeah, thank you very much for that. I'll, I'll take that to heart. Fantastic. So where can our audience find you? Uh, so we are uh, online. It's Art, A-R capital T, Wine Preserver, uh -huh. and it's artwinepreservation.com for our direct website, and we're also available on Amazon. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Ryan. Well, there you have it, Gary. Here we got a fantastic innovation in the wine industry done right here in Indiana, so we're proud of it.